Okay, welcome to the tutorial about making sure what your settings are in Maya. If you want them set either to inches, meters, centimeters, uh, what have you. Go down here to Preferences. The icon in the lower right hand corner of Maya, which is catty corner to two other icons. Make sure you don't press those by mistake. The one on the immediate left is the Auto key, be that on or off. And the one directly below it is the Script Editor. If you bring these up, simply get rid of it. When you press on the preferences, the window is going to be coming up, and you want to go immediately then to settings. When you press on settings, you're going to get um, the working units either in size and also in degrees as well as in frames per second. What we're going to be working in is in centimeters. Make sure that's set. And also make sure the time is set to NTSC 30 frames per second. When you make sure that these are set correctly in settings, go down here to save. Make sure not to press cancel. If you press save, it'll save your preferences and then uh, get rid of the window. Then you want to come up here to the fifth Maya menu selection across grid. Make sure that the checkbox is on. Make sure you don't click it by mistake because if you do, it'll of course turn it off. When this is clicked on, go here to the options and evoke the grid options window. When you do this, what you're going to be doing is setting up the grid that you see in Maya to reflect either the centimeters that you've set or um, millimeters or decimeters or uh, meters. And the way that we do this is that in the box, second box down, grid lines every unit. If you say one, it's going to reflect whatever unit you've just set in the preferences. In this case, it's going to be reflecting every centimeter. If you type in 100, then the grid lines will only reflect every uh, meter. So if you're building a 12 meter building, etc., then you can set your grid up accurately so that although your preferences are set to centimeters, your grid will reflect meters in Maya. The length and width, the thousand here, means that is the total distance I want the entire grid to be. And I want it to be just one small square, not some uh, grid that sprawls into the horizon. So I've written down a thousand here. Subdivisions is how many um, mini divisions within every grid line you want. In this case, I don't want any. Uh, when I have these preferences set here, and this will accurately reflect meters, I say apply and close. Now we're still not seeing the grid. Why is that? Well, it could be a couple of things. First of all, you want to make sure that uh, your camera is set to a clipping plane that can see the grid. And currently that's, uh, that's not the case. When I, when I come in here to Preferences window and I press F, the camera resets itself, but as you saw only briefly, and then it kind of peels back and the grid is now out of our clipping plane. What is the clipping plane? Well, the clipping plane is uh, sort of the, the uh, window of vision that your camera has. If you set it so that your camera does not see anything beyond a certain point, then if that grid, even though it's a default in Maya that you've just set up, is beyond that focal view of the camera, you're simply not going to see it. How do you reset that? Go up here to View, drop down to Select Camera, and with the camera selected, drop back into View and go here to Camera Attribute Editor. Now I have a free floating window, but some people have it set up so that it comes here on the uh, that window comes up here on the right, it really doesn't make a difference because you're going to see the same information. What you're looking for at this point is the near clipping plane and the far clipping plane. And uh, this is at point one, which is nice when you're modeling something, you can get right up on the wireframe of the grid and manipulate it. However, it does tend to cause jittering when you're orbiting around and viewing the model from a distance later. So if you see that kind of jittering when you're uh, orbiting around a model, I like to type in one and that tends to get rid of that uh, jittering problem. But our problem in this case is actually the fact that we cannot see the grid because it is beyond our uh, camera's view. So the far clipping plane is set too close. So I have a thousand here. What I'm going to do is add two more zeros. It's really not going to break Maya. You can even add three if you want and press return. Now what we have is a, is a far clipping plane so far that you're not going to be losing this grid for a while even when you scale back to this distance. You're still going to see the, uh, the default grid in Maya. Pressing F gets me close again. So at this point I'm going to press close and uh, I'm going to make sure that this grid as we've done reflects meters but what if I want to work in centimeters? Well then go up here to display into grid options again and don't say grid lines every hundred units, say grid lines every unit. Um, and when you apply, by the way when you press apply it simply uh, applies those changes without getting rid of this window and in this case you can see it's now uh, horrifically busy with the centimeter as I get in closer and closer and closer. So I might want to scale back the the uh, uh, the total size of the grid. So in that case I come up here to length and width and I scale back to 100, then I scale back to 10, 
um, apply there cuts it in a little more reasonably. Always make sure that you have not just your preferences set but also the grid options so that what you see on your camera screen or your perspective screen in Maya is reflecting the units you want and that just takes a little bit of um, uh, of clarity about the math you're using both in the settings for Maya as well as what you're seeing in your uh, in your grid. So that should do it for you. I currently have it set in uh, centimeters and I'll be working in centimeters.